Right, everyone, welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Today, myself and a big Jozza on the other camera right there. We are at Custom Golf Works to talk about all things Cobra irons in 2024 going into 2025. Today, there are about six ish or so iron iterations of Cobra, aren't they? We've yep. got Dark Speeds, yep. we've got Forge Tech X, Forge Tech. And then we've got the Tor, the CB, and then the MB. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna go through all of them at Custom Golf Works with a GC Quad Foresight as well with the software. I'm gonna try and make a hole in one. That's the most important thing, but also we're gonna see how these irons differ. Johnny's gonna hit the first four, so from Darkfield over to the Tor, I'm gonna to hit the CBs and MBs. Johnny, talk to me about Cobra. Cobra, so yeah, Cobra Cobra's an interesting one. We've, we've tested a few irons already this year. The Dark Speed's obviously the kind of game improvement side of that coin. We've got the dark speed here, which is the kind of game improvement category. Pretty hot, low lofted, aggressive lofted, and they go absolutely miles. So yes. perfect for that player who maybe desires a little bit more speed in their game. Also quite a, quite a chunky head, yeah. probably has to be said. So mm -hmm. plenty of forgiveness from across the face. Yeah, we hit dark speed first. We've got it lined up at 178 yards with seven foot of elevation. Yeah. Um, we've all got seven irons in this testing today, guys. All the same shafts. Dark speed is 27 degrees of loft for a seven iron. Punchy, 100%, but hollow body, right? We've tested them before. They yeah. are absolute bombers Rockets. for distance. In terms of the metrics you're looking for, forgiveness, yes, but would you say the main thing is that distance factor for the dark speed? I think that is a big thing, yeah, especially if you're someone who maybe struggles to find the center of the club face. Yeah. Having that extra level of distance from the heel and the toe just means that your miss is they're just going to be closer to the hole, effectively. Yeah. You're probably gaining maybe five to seven yards yep. compared to maybe slightly less forgiving clubs. 100%. Well said. Well, here's some shots for me now, Johnny, on this wonderful and also quite, quite strange hole. Peculiarly <laughs> square green, yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. Quite a nice target to aim at, though, I have yep. to say. It's a hell of a way to start. Up onto this odd square green, 182 yeah. yards. I mean, that shot is these clubs in a nutshell. Yeah. That wasn't actually a great strike. Was it not? No, okay. that didn't feel great. But I mean, yeah, look at the result. On the green, a couple of feet from the pin. Mm. That but, is what you really want if you're yeah. someone who maybe struggles to, uh, struggles to really middle it every single time. It's, and I would put yeah. myself in that category if I'm being completely honest. Sure, it's funny you say. Hearing some different strikes right now, which I want, I want to see. Hello. Thirty put. Yeah, I want to see you striking it across the face here, Johnny. Mm. Which is, I know. Oh you yeah, do, I do am doing well. that. <laughs> yeah, that's your A game right there, correct? Or is yeah, that a bad no, shot? No, that wasn't quite. I see, can't. What a bounce! Oh, get, get in, in the hole. hole! Get in the hole! Oh. No, that was slightly off the toe. So you just can't which start. does tend to be my poor strike. Okay. It's nearer the toe. I mean, you're saying that it's off the toe and it's 5200 spin. Yeah. Really impressive. Really but that's impressive. where, see. That's where, this is where, that was a bad strike, carry 165. If I really get hold of these ones, I can get it out to like almost like 175. Sure, okay. But that, I would expect that drop off to be even steeper with yeah. other clubs. The okay. We'll close we get to kind of MBCBs, that's where yeah, you see yeah, that yeah. real big well, drop off. Try, try and middle one for me, because I want to see how punched these really are when they are at that 1.4 smash. That's a nice launch, really nice launch. I see that descent angle dropping nicely. Yeah, that was that was middled. I would hope so, 190 yards. <laughs> and that is what you get. I mean, we talked yeah. about these these irons being punchy. 190 with a seven iron is hot. Yes, correct. I mean, these and look, I don't think I've ever seen you at ball speed 126 is really really good. I was approaching my numbers. I'm, I'm quite concerned. Um, 5,000 spin descent angle 42.6. These are punchy, and because of that, you will slightly see. Low spin, low launch-ish. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say maybe not low launch, 14.6, it's on the low side. 42.6 as well for that um, descent angle is approaching too low. Yeah. So we'd always recommend a fitting for these. Uh, Johnny, for dark speed, yeah. uh, what handicap range? It's, I know it's a horrible question. I always say this in videos, but someone looking, thinking what Cobra range should I buy? What type of player would you target these towards? Because also they're, they're a great price now at the end of 2024. Yeah, they're a great price. They also look very nice. Yeah. Um, I would say this is probably you're looking at probably, depending on how good you are of a ball striker, because sure. you can get really good ball strikers, but they just hit it off the planet left and right. Yeah. I would say you're probably looking 15 and up. Okay. I'd say from 15 down, you're probably getting into forge tech, I maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if any kind of high handicapper, someone in the game improvement category wanting to kind of 
get as much forgiveness out of their irons and distance yeah. is, is really the like, key selling point for these irons, I would say. Yeah, you've put it well there. I think, look, for our, not just Cobra, I think any other brands, distance is a really big oomph for dark speed. That's yeah. not just for the irons, for the metal woods as well. I, if you are someone who struggles with distance, though, you might struggle with these irons because of the low launch and low spin. But then again, saying that, I want to mention this in the, in the video because if you do struggle with that, get a fitting. A little caveat, so we were honest here in Golf Magic. Our first review, our first uh, initial session with the Dark Speed Iron, um, rubbish. I look, I'm saying it, I'm exposing ourselves. It was rubbish for both of us, rubbish for Willie Woods, who is no longer with us. He's left the job, he's not dead. <laughs> um, they're really low launching, really low spinning, wrong shaft for us. It, it did not work well. We've now got a different shaft in there, a KBS slightly higher spinning shaft, and we're seeing numbers that I know Johnny wouldn't put it in the bag because you're a little bit too good of a player, but those numbers would work for you on the golf course. Oh, all day. And it yeah. would work for anyone. So with these irons, because they are punchy in lower lofts, if you have a slower swing speed, make sure you get fitted and get the correct spec for you. Now, these are stronger lofts. The Forge Tech X is stronger lofts too. Johnny, mm -hmm. go and grab that for me now and we'll talk about that. So, Johnny, the Forge Tech X mm -hmm. is moving on to uh, an iron that, as you can see, is forged, but it still offers a lot of forgiveness by the X in the name. It couples up with the uh, the Forge Tech, but this is stronger loft again at 27 degrees for yep. a seven iron. So we're going to see maybe some of the numbers of dark. So we'll find out. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people are going to be asking and thinking, what is the main difference between Forge Tech and Forge Tech X? Uh, this one slightly larger, slightly stronger loft, and also it's got a little bit more tonks in the head to change about that CG and offer a bit more forgiveness mm -hmm. than the Forge Tech. I use the Forge Tech in one length game changer for me in certain areas so these are fairly uh, broad irons i believe but i've actually never tested out the forge tech x i mean visually what what do you what do you think uh, so i mean i was just comparing them to the dark speed just then sure so we've got a slightly thinner top line blade length is pretty similar right um, but they just look slightly more refined they look more like a player's distance iron than a game improvement iron yeah um you can't really see any of this from a dress so okay. the back so it's quite a yeah it's quite a refined profile okay. there's still a little bit of offset there to help out those who need it um but i think a really good looking iron yeah. and actually both in hand and at a dress really good job from cobra That's noise, beauty. noise different straight away. The 180. I felt, feel, they feel really lovely, yeah. these irons. Sound, sound. Again, getting sound. it out there to 190 though with a seven iron, that is, that is long. That is long. That is I, long. I would normally, typically with the current irons I use, I'm looking at probably 170 carry, yeah. maybe rolling out to like 177 something. Yeah, so yeah. Getting, getting those extra, I don't know how many it is, 11, 12 yards. Yeah, 178 carry, 190 total. And yeah. again, look, people will look at these numbers and think, why is this been at 4,800? We've got two caveats here. One, look, it's 27 degrees a lot. Yeah. They're never going to be at 7,000 because a player who is playing a Forge Tech X will not want to spin at 7,000. They mm -hmm. are not, you know, Bryson DeChambeau. Alex Lodge, yeah. like that. they're going to want slightly lower spin. Um, so, and also we're inside, so it's always going to be slightly lower spin uh, compared to outside testing. So that, those numbers, I mean, for me, just the descent angle needs to be changed slightly. And that's just a down to that seven iron loft being 27. Yeah. But being here at Custom Golf Works, the acoustics from dark speed to four stroke X, very different. Yeah, I can yeah. tell straight away. I could be blindfolded and I could tell the difference between that to that. And I think you can with the way in which it feels off the middle yeah. of the club face. Absolutely. Hit a few more. Consistent. Good strike. <laughs> Big bounce out of the rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Good strike. Yeah. Good strike. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of line. I'm always that's kind of line. I'm always trying to start my iron shots on. Yeah. That just didn't really move back a huge amount. I sure. normally play with slightly more movement on the ball than that, and more right. like five to ten yards yeah. left to right. Just... Um, but that just went yeah, just went absolutely dead straight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they feel they feel really like. I keep on using the phrase hot. That's it kind of gets me boring. Yeah. But it's like a real flash off the face right. um, that I, yeah, I'm a big fan of. And it's, I feel like it's kind of, the sound is similar. Yeah. The two work in tandem really nicely. Okay. <laughs> Again, starts up on that same line. <laughs> it's just not moving back. Just I just got to start going out the pin. Please do. Oh, that was a bad strike. Okay, this will be interesting. Good to have them there. Yeah. That was dark. well out of the toe. Well, you had them with the dark speed too. Yeah. Looked like the, the spin, Again, the, spin, the spin speed's, just, speed's just dropped a lot. Spin, spin's up, though. It's quite impressive. 
Okay, happy more. But yeah, carry 155. But that was way out just of the, the toe. But it's just the ball speed that's dropped. It's not yeah. the... Um, and yeah. It did a good job of keeping it actually online, and considering yeah. how far that fell out of the toe. Yeah. Money. That didn't feel great. Oh, well, I'll take back my money. God, this rough, these rough bounces. Yeah, really nice, nice, oh, nice. trampoline-like rough. <laughs> I mean, that would have undoubtedly on the course just held yeah. up at the front. Yeah, 117, but, and spin's okay. It's just because that, it's a bit low launching, okay, it, get, it gets there. But I mean... I mean, what? if you look at that grouping, so there's what there was probably two or three in there. Not yeah, great. Yeah. We've only got a two left of the green, but they were good strikes. And then that one short, which was which was a bad, I don't, I don't bad mind, one out of the turn. I don't mind it. I mean, if we have a look at the, if we just compare these two quickly. So dark speed actually launching a little bit higher, which mm. I find. I, I I would say that the launch angle and spin rates overall are pretty equidistant to each other. We know they're both tw uh, twenty seven degree seven irons. Yeah. Um, but what I I'm quite intrigued by is the actual ball speed being a little bit higher too for the Porsche Tech X. Yeah. Now, I would almost say that it should be the other way, other way around. Mm. So these are actually overall very very similar irons. I think in the overall performance, mm -hmm. right? The only thing I think is the main difference is uh, yes, I think dark speed will be more more forgiving overall yeah. in long term testing. Uh, but the main thing is the way in which it looks, the shelf appeal and the feel of it off the face, right? I mean, how... I think a lot, a lot of golfers could benefit from using these irons. Yeah, I... I Especially as like, I'm, well, I'm now down to single fingers, but I wouldn't classify myself as a, a, like a really good a ball, ball striker. striker. Right. Whereas something like this, I would happily put in the bag. Yeah. No problems whatsoever. Yeah. They, they surprised me quite a lot there in, in this testing because I thought it would almost not be a throwaway, but like, yeah. four sec X, good, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think I asked you the question before of dark or what iron, uh, what handicap would range is it? I feel like that one. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It's really broad, right? You said you really are, you're off, well, you're ten, you're eight or so. You can yeah. use those. Uh, any anyone could use us a little bit more. Yes, the launching once again. I will re um, reinstate in this video time after time. Please get custom fitted for any Cobra iron. Um, but for very similar numbers, I, I'd side with Forged X every single time for any type of golfer because of that forged, uh, forged building. It feels there, looks are there, performance, as we've seen, is there. Yeah. You could really, yeah, with a, with a custom fitting, really dial in those numbers, maybe yeah. increase your launch a touch, yeah. increase the spin a touch. But in terms of overall performance, fantastic club. But yeah, as we said, probably anyone from nine, eight, yeah. nine, up to probably in your, in your late teens, yeah. I would say. Try the Ford Tech now. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about that one whilst I quickly change this over. So, Johnny, the Forged Tech is 30 degrees of loft for a 7-iron. Yeah. It's a real P790 equivalent, this uh, one. Yeah. And I've uh, said for the Forged Tech X, Dark Horse. It's been around for now over two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was actually expecting a new release of it in uh, the summer of 2024. I believe, I don't know anything, Cobra, if I'm right, please don't shoot me with your agents, but I believe the next Forged Tech will probably have some 3D printing involved with the basis of the Limited. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a guess that I yeah, think yeah. the golf nerds Cobra leaning into with. 3D printing quite heavily, yeah, aren't they? Which I quite like, but I used those in one length for quite a while. I adored them, adored the 7-iron. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an extremely good feeling iron, and I think it will be very similar to the Forged Tech X apart from obviously being a slightly thinner top line, slightly yeah, more compact, I was, as you can probably see. I was just having a look at them. That was, that's the only really noticeable difference yeah. at address, and it's, it's fairly marginal, but these are of a slightly thinner top line, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see something straight away, I think. Ah, oh, awful bounce. Oh. Yeah, I mean, so, that was a pretty good strike, and good that strike. was kind of just about just about getting there yeah launch up Pitch. spin up yeah which is expected from something which is 30 degrees of lock compared to 27. okay that'll be interesting to see because that wasn't a great strike yeah and you can see distance has dropped quite not a bit bad though well Ooh, nearly on the green not the quite first, yeah that's the spin up i think that maybe might be in your lowest ball speed so far yeah um which we're expecting we're expecting the forgiveness to drop slightly um but what I like about that is, as I'm saying quite consistently with the Cobra irons, the spin is staying consistently high. It's not yeah. dropping out of the sky. So and actually, well, one thing you can notice also just looking at this graph yeah. is, I know you wouldn't expect to see like huge ones left and right, but it actually, disparity left to right has been pretty tight, even, yeah. on the, even on the not great strikes. Yeah, yeah. That sounded really nice. Yeah, that was better. Right at the flag. Get over that bunker, please. Oh, turn. Whoa. What a shot. The closest of the day, I think. Yeah. 
Forge Tech. It's just, it's just creeping on the front edge of that green, isn't that it? That spins. It good. is flirting with I'd the. I'd say um, I still the, the, the ball speed you can see now is dropping to about 120 mile an hour for your max. Yeah. Still really good, um, but spin at around 6,000. That descent angle is around 43, which we can accept, uh, and the launch is up at 16.2. So we are we're seeing a lot we're getting of numbers for I think your club head speed. Oh. Oh wow. Don't hit a pedestrian. Pulled it way <laughs> left. That's deep too. Okay. That is deep. I'm gonna start tugging them left. A little bit. But you're keeping the um you're keeping the distance pretty optimal. If we hit one more and then we're just gonna have a look at those numbers. That is the shot. Just gonna bounce left though, isn't it? Stupid square green. Right. Yeah. So before I actually do click on the table, yeah. um, what I think is cool is to look at this, this, this little um, map here. And we are now starting to see Patterns. as we are yeah, going down the set into things which would be uh, assumed as less forgiving, which is true. Uh, the dispersion is getting wider and wider, mm -hmm. which, I can, which, which is good. It, it's designed to do what they're supposed to be doing. That's so impressive, the dark speed of Forge Tech X. I still can't get over both of those uh, forgiveness for them. We can see actually, so the Forge Tech's uh, ball speed is still pretty good. Uh, which it's I'm almost exactly pretty, the same as dark speed, which so, is pretty yeah, wild. Yeah, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with that. I thought it would actually be lower. Mm. Uh, but launch is a higher. Yes, it's, it's similar to dark speed, but the reason why it's similar is because I would say you hit it out the toe a little bit more often. Yeah. Uh, so it would need to lower launch. But you can see higher spin and just your dispersion with the graph on the top right is slightly wider. Mm -hmm. uh, out of the three so far, yeah. you've got one to go. Which would you want to game? Which, or would you be more inclined to game a combo set with Forge Tech X and Forge Tech if possible? I would, you know, I mean, I, I would want to do more testing just because obviously we've only hit seven or eight shots of each. Sure. I would be somewhere between Forge Tech and Forge Tech X. Yeah. I, I mean, based on today, if you had, to, if I had to walk out of a set of irons now, I probably would go Forge Tech X. Would you? Just okay. because I'm, I mean, I. These numbers are pretty good. I wouldn't say I'm someone that hits it super far. So actually, that added yeah, added right. distance on offer from Forge Tech X is something that I would be quite keen on yeah. taking advantage of. Um, so I would probably go Forge Tech X if I had to leave today. But right. I would I'd be keen to do a combo set's not maybe not a bad idea. So yeah, if like I was to go maybe four five yeah. and then Forge Tech down. Um, but yeah, I mean, Forge Tech X, very impressive iron. And it's like quite that. interesting to see, despite only being a kind of small change iterated between the two iterations, yeah. it actually does equate to quite a big difference. Oh yeah, 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 yeah big difference. I, I think we're, we're probably gonna see in this video the Forge Tech X being our standout performer because mm -hmm. it offers distance and forgiveness. We're now gonna get into a slightly different category in yeah. a way, and we're now gonna go into the ones I haven't even opened yet, Johnny. And we're gonna Ooh, have a look how at exciting. the... Um, uh, do an unboxing video while we're here. Oh, 100%. So, we've got three more irons yeah. to choose from. I'm going to have two of them. Yeah. But you're going to have one that's kind of, funnily enough, if memory serves me correct, I believe players like Ricky Fowler's actually use these on top. He's using them right now, yeah. Is he? Yeah. yeah. So, these are P770 equivalent, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I think that's probably a fair which, comparison. Um, which is a good thing, a very good iron. And what I will say is Cobra have really done well in making what is quite a traditional iron in terms of lofts and whatnot uh, look pretty sweet. Mm. Like, this thing, if They're I hand, really good looking irons. Let's hand it over to you now, Johnny, is um, a very, Thank very you. good looking iron. And let me just tell you about it now. Yeah. So the Cobra King Tour, I think for uh, everyone, not just Johnny and myself, we're all golfers, is the next step, I think, in forging, going toward, towards not a player's distance iron, a player's iron, it's just on the cusp of that, which is mm -hmm. why we're having you hit it. Uh, we offer a, Cobra offers a five-step forging process for the Cobra King Tours, which is uh, a lot, as you guys could expect. And Johnny's gonna see here the difference in feel all across the face. Now, as I mentioned already earlier, Ricky Fowler games he's, has gamed them for quite a while on and off. That shows that they can be workable for one of the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Jaws, you're going left again. Massive pull. You've got the yardage. I've got the yardage, but I mean, that's always going to happen when you pull it that yeah, far left, isn't it? Off, um, yeah. yeah, so that wasn't a great start. Feel is, feel is lovely, though. <laughs> <laughs> really nice and soft. I very much enjoy hitting yeah, the yeah. trees. It was out the middle, just closed the club face down a little bit too much. Mm. Ball speed's good. Ball speed's really good. 122. Um, you don't have a correct. Uh, have you ever corrected? Mm. No. So we carry one, six. Get on that green. Green uh, red. Green red. Oh, it's just yeah. kept on. 
Uh, Spinner, was not that a great strike? strike. No, no, not a great 116. strike. Honestly, though, like, looking at that, it's a Forge Tech. We're looking at similar ball speed across the board, which is... Uh, We've got 122 and 116 so far, averaging out, that'll be, what, 119? I mean, I if Ricky Fowler uses these, I'm not expecting to be able to wield them quite as effectively as him, but let's see if I can get one. Get one there. That's the shot. That was a better strike, for sure. Yeah, just going to clip on the front. Yeah, so 168, yeah. we're looking at the carry there. This is actually a really well-positioned bunker for me, because that entire portion left and short of the yeah, green. Yeah, you're buggered. Yeah. Letting, me yeah, just, yeah. letting me just wheedle my way <laughs> in there quite nicely. That sounded lovely. That looks. Yeah. Come on, bounce well. Oh, well, that could be the closest. I think that's the closest yet. Yeah. Stop rolling. There you go, 180. What's the spin of that? Like 6,000 again? Yeah, 6,000, 120. I, I love the numbers for you so yeah. far. I really do. That's two, that's, that's two, two of the better swings I've yeah. had in the last few. We're just a bit left again. Just tugged it. I mean, the main thing we can see, I don't know if it's a swing, your, your swing and whatnot, but compare the last two um, tests of this and the Forge Tech uh, with dispersion mm. to that of the uh, Dark Speed and Forge Tech X. I, I'm not going to say night and day, but it's close. Yeah. Um, and then if we actually look at the tables for these, I'm, I'm liking that the uh, ball speed is, is very similar across the board. It shows that we are, we're having, you know, you're, you're a bit of a robot today in terms of that. It shows also, the, I mean, how good the, the Forge Tech and the King Tour are to keep up the Dark Speed yeah. and the Forge Tech X. Maybe Johnny didn't hit it as well, that could be argued, but the spin's climbing up and up as well. 5,700 is now really, really good for you, for your swing. Yeah. Um, but would I, what would I recommend? Carry, same as the Forge Tech, but that's six yards less, less than the Forge Tech X. Would you that's interesting. That, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm surprised. I mean, in all honesty, I think the two that I pulled with these have upped my average yeah. on the carry distance because I don't think if you were to send me out and hit 10 with each, I think I would yeah. undoubtedly hit dark speed further. Sure. So that's slightly, slightly um, manipulating the figures. Yeah. But um, I was impressed, still managing to get total 176 with these. Yeah. I was expecting that to kind of drop off a little bit more, which I mean, it's, it's testament to the kind of amount of forgiveness that's actually still packed into these bad boys. Completely. I think what's important with all these numbers too is we need to still look at that, that little map on the right and yeah. just show um, the, the circles getting bigger and bigger, which yeah. is really important for um, all, all everyday golfers. Uh, even even not just left and right, front to back, um, it is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do now, Johnny, I think what we can show here is from a eight handicapper, <coughs> there are some different irons available that you could actually use, but mm. for an everyday golfer, someone, off fi someone off, who's off 15, plays every Saturday, is a yeah. decent ball striker. Cobra, what would you recommend an iron? Would it be Forge Tech X? Forge Tech X, yeah. I, I completely agree. I think what I like about Forge Tech X is uh, it's consistency across the board, it's forgiveness, and if people don't like the lofts, they can either um, weaken them slightly yeah. because they're forged, or they can move into the forge tech. I'll probably keep with the forge tech, to be honest. Just I mean, if you're, especially if you're, playing in the, if you're playing in England or the UK in the winter, I mean, that's what seems like almost three quarters of the year these days. So yeah. that extra little bit of carry distance through the air might save you quite a few shots. I completely agree. Let's me now see if I can keep up with those Incredible swings you were doing. I'm going to go and hit the CB now. Yep. Which, but what these are, these are going to be slightly smaller. We can, you can see with all of these irons, we're gradually getting smaller in terms of its compactness. It, to be honest, though, it's still got quite a healthy amount. So if you can yeah, nice, here. nice, generous sole. Yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, we've been hitting some different. I've been hitting some Avoda irons today, which are about a third of the size of those. Uh, but if I move over to yep. the, the uh, platform, sounded great. That felt lovely. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah, it was nice. That's so a lovely see the, shot. See the uh, descent angle on that one. Such a stable ball flight as yeah. well. Barely, barely moved. Didn't, didn't do much there, did it? No. I mean, look at that, like that ball speed. Yes. We're keeping that similar to yours. I like that. Spin's pretty good. Okay. Let's see if I can do the same. The same angle, yeah, 43 degrees. Yeah, not I can too work bad. with that. Another great strike. Yeah, that felt nice. Imagine if I shank it and then it goes. Go in the hole. Please. Go in the hole. Please. Go in the hole. Please. Oh! No! <laughs> great shot. You know, I think I have to leave with the shank. Descent angles, the descent angles gone up a bit as yeah, well to 46. 46. That's quite nice. Total yeah. distance 177. Actually, it's interesting. You're, you're, you're obviously hitting it further than me, but we normally see probably a slightly bigger disparity 
and which is testament to how much extra power those ones can deliver. Yeah, we, I mean, the Forge Tech X, we're going to come back to it whilst I'm hitting an iron, which is genuinely is one of my favourite CB irons of the last mm. few years or so. But I'm just, as you said, I'm looking at these numbers, I'm like, why would I hit these when I can go to the Forge Tech X? Like, I think people are moving away from tiny irons that don't offer a lot of forgiveness. Well, it can, be, it, well, it can right. be a bit of an ego thing, can't it? You yeah. think once, oh, now I'm a single finger handicapper, or now I play all five, I, ha I have to use these irons. <laughs> yeah. Whereas in reality, that's not always the case. No, there's no need. There's a lot of tour players that don't use art, that don't use blades, and yeah. if they're not using them, then I've got some tour players who have even like a massive hollow body two iron in the back. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Which is like they hit it out in the middle more or less every single time. So yeah. if, they're, if they're doing it, and then you know Joe Smith who plays off twelve and thinks he should use MBs, and like get in the bin, mate. It's <laughs> So there's instant feedback. It's a good it's a good shot, don't get me wrong, but I was a little bit thin. That's real that's a really lovely, really lovely shot shot though. Yeah, it's a good yeah, descent angle high? Spring. Yeah. Forty five yeah, yeah. degrees, it's not bad. Yeah, so we're getting a bit higher. That's a good that's a good thin. It's a great <laughs> thin. Seen one. It's a great thin. <laughs> these are gotta be issues, you go in the bag. Yeah, these might go in the bag. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. I mean, this is, these are all pitching like pin high as yeah. well. Um, you can see and actually the consistency of your, uh, where you're actually landing it back to front mm -hmm. is really, really impressive. Yeah. yeah. I just turned Probably. over a touch. That's going to go a bit long too. Yeah. So there's a, there's a sense of it's not a terrible bad, shot nah. though. I'll chip onto that weird square green. Like yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> 126, yeah. Let's, rather than get the numbers, let's go straight now into actually the MB, if you can hand me that yeah. one, because we want to see straight away what the difference is with these. I think it'll be feel. Um, that, I can still feel, hitting that one, especially this last one there, with, we've got a little bit of wider sole, I can feel that. I can feel how, it, um, that there's a little bit of the CG, maybe mm. it's just a little bit uh, positioned differently to that of a blade. Um, these are beautiful, the MBs. Oh my Lord. It's a shame we don't have the RF model, but I'll be honest, anyone watching this video, don't you dare get <laughs> the RF model. You are not good enough for it. If Ricky Fowler isn't, it's called after him. You're not either. That's so nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. How did that feel? They're really good. Get in the hole. Get in the bloody hole. Get sir. in the hole. Please. Please. Oh. Please. No! Oh. <laughs> God, you, your accuracy is absolutely on point today. Yeah. Just tugged it. Yeah, just tugged it a bit. Yeah, just be second cut. Oh, it's, God, that's a hard, oh. tough bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed it straight what's left. A, what's the slope rating in this course? Yeah. <laughs> Ball speed's getting up there now to the 126. I yeah. would think I, I'm, I'm hitting it to go 180. I don't, I don't want it to go any further. Out the toe. I'm not getting up and down from that. Christ, look how bad that is in terms of the uh, <laughs> distance change. That's like ball speed drops ball like speed. 16 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean that, that that is where blades. blades. Yeah. And I will tell you. That's why they're for premium ball strikers because you are going to get a drop. Yeah. yeah. That was a. It, was, it wasn't. Didn't, it didn't miss the grooves, but that. Um, Slap me in the face, punch me in the face, and push me over. Like yeah. that, that did not feel good. I would be head down, shoulders down on the course with that. That was that a cold, one, cold that, winter's morning. Oh, that was cold winter's morning. I'd be walking in. <laughs> oh, <I'd be> so, <laughs> this club would be snapped in two. Pushed it. I mean, you can see. We're going to leave it at that for that because over those selection of shots, we've got good. We've got okay, and we've got bloody terrible for the dispersion, which mm -hmm. is really important. I consider myself a pretty decent player. Um, we've got we've got front right, we've got left a little bit, we've got straight, we've got nearly in the hole. There were some there were some corkers in there as some well. Some great shots, but I mean, I would not want a fitter to ever recommend me blades. I, want, I would want a fitter to recommend me a uh, King Tour or a CB. Yeah, right? I think that's fair. So guys, I think what we could finalize within this video is there's some really good ranges, really good models that Cobra have, right, mm -hmm. Johnny, for, for us to choose from. But our personal favorite, I think, will be the Forge Tech X. Now, this is, uh, it is a large club still, yeah. don't get me wrong, but I think uh, bigger is better going into 2025. We want to help our games, not hinder our games. Absolutely. And I understand blades are more workable, but I mean, Johnny, tell me about your, your feelings with this Forge Tech X that you've been testing today. Oh, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's a really excellent performing club. It offers plenty of distance, a good amount of forgiveness, looks great behind the ball, looks great in your bag. There's just a lot to love about these. And especially in the winter, as we are kind of advancing into the winter months, that extra bit of distance through the air could, yeah, as I previously mentioned, save you 
potentially a couple of shots. Hopefully, hopefully even a few more. Yeah. Uh, with all these fittings, with all these testings that we've done today, of course, get fitted by your local or not local. Go for a holiday and get fitted for it <laughs> because they are so important nowadays. Absolutely. If you don't have the right line, go if you don't have the right shaft, you could actually hinder your game. We don't want that. You don't want that. Cobra don't want that. There's six to choose from. There could be some more next year. Who knows? We'll, see. we'll find out in the next few months. But guys, let us know down in the comments if you are looking for a Cobra iron and what one you're going to choose. If you have any questions, myself and Big Jozza will happily help you out. We are a plethora of knowledge nowadays, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, always reachable on Instagram yeah. as well. We've got a lot of good and bad shots to come going into 2025. <laughs> guys, if you are new to Golf Magic, make sure you smash the subscribe button and leave a like as well to keep up to date with all of our videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you at the next one.